Boom, what's up guys? Boom, sweet outdoors, back porch edition. Got a special guest today. This is Kyle, my nephew. Say hi. He's a little strange, forgive him. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, I got a pretty cool video for you today. It's a bit of a product review, but it's a little bit different. This was actually given to me by a subscriber. A subscriber sent me this review this knife you already know he already he sent me this knife to do a product review i want to give a quick shout out to the thirsty camel thanks a lot buddy appreciate it hopefully we can do you justice all right this knife is a timu purchase you guys know what timu is it's the online a uh, store that's taken over by storm. Everything's made in China or somewhere like that. But it's real cheap prices. Sometimes you get good quality. Sometimes you don't. We're going to find out what kind of quality you get when you buy a Timu knife. Now, right off the bat, just first look. Uh, the leather looks decent. It's not high green quality leather. But it is... I think real leather. Yes, it smells like well, smell that. That's real leather. It reminds me of when I used to get my ass whipped as a kid with dad's leather belt. He needs one too. But anyway, uh, yes, it's it's decent quality. Um, it's not the best. I mean, this is Timu. I don't even know the price on this thing. Uh, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say it's probably not over 20 bucks. Um, but like I said, I don't know. He sent it to me, wanted me to do a review on it. It's the least I can do for my subscribers. All right. Uh, the snap is kind of loose. I'd be very wary of it when wearing it on my side. Okay, this is considered a hunting knife. Um, the steel M390, 62 HRC stainless, I'm sure. A little bit of an edge. That's a little bit of an edge. Not bad. Not bad for for this for the, this knife very very impressive that's very good i've gotten knives off of amazon ebay out of the store that wasn't that sharp now it's not razor it's not razor it's not it's it's a far cry from bps knife sharp but it is sharp i'll give it that it is sharp um uh, it's it's sort of comfortable in the hand my hand's a little bigger than this handle and that finger ring right there is a little uncomfortable depending on how i try to hold it this right here is fine uh not bad it's a decent knife uh probably a good little pack knife uh the only thing that i would be worried about is blade retention how long will it hold that edge what all am i going to be cutting before i lose it uh, I would use this for minor cutting, not nothing big, heavy duty. This is more like a light duty, medium duty kind of, uh, knife. Uh, it does look cool though. It is a very cool, what do you think? Cool looking knife. He agrees. Can I cut your finger off with it? Sure. He's going to let me cut his finger off. Hold on. I tried. But it, it, it's not a bad knife. Uh, like I said, not sure of the price. Uh, probably around 20 bucks. Excuse me. It's just tea. It's too early. But, yeah, not bad. Uh, I definitely want to... Definitely want to thank him for sending this. Um, I appreciate it uh, a lot. Uh, it means that somebody out there is actually enjoying what I'm doing to where I got subscribers sending me products. 
Love it. Anybody else want to do it? Message me. I'll get back with you. We'll hook something up. Uh, do me a favor. Like and subscribe and hit that notification button. That way you're made aware when a video drops. And uh, check us out on Facebook, The Sweet Outdoors. Check us out on TikTok, The Sweet Outdoors. Get ready for some good videos, guys. Uh, got some plans for the weekend that uh, I think you're going to enjoy. Uh, got a couple more product reviews coming up that I think you're going to enjoy. Some actual Timu purchases that I made myself. With all that, be safe. God bless. Get outside, people. That means you too.